constructing regular polygons using the vesica pisces as the root or the origin of the construction step one first you want to go to the wiki page and download the sketchpad file for this assignment once you've done that you'll have the file and then back to the wiki page using the sidebar let's go to the sketchpad tutorials that is over here we can get to the sidebar right there sketchpad videos and this is several how-to videos to do some basic constructions and I'm talking about this section right here this video will tell you about the Vesca Pisces and then specifically how to do a few of the regular polygons but not these so watch these videos and do them on this file once you've done that up to hexagon here's your hint on how to do more. I've already done the hexagon and here is the Vesca Pisces that created that hexagon. I have six sides and this is the circle that encompasses those six sides or circumscribes the hexagon. It's a very easy way to double the number of sides and that is from the very center of this circle or the polygon I'm going to go right down the middle of one side. It's kind of like the angle bisector of this sector but if I take the midpoint, this will be the easiest to do. That is, click on the segment and construct the midpoint. Notice it says Control M, and then that will give me Control M, the midpoint. And then I can draw from here to there using the ray tool. And where this ray intersects the circle, I will have one point equidistant between these two points of the hexagon but on the circle and thus this will be a point of the polygon with twice as many sides or the dodecagon twice six being twelve do that all the way around that is I can do that quickly by using all of the segments choosing them all and once I have all of them I can control M get midpoints all the way around and then using the ray tool I can draw these rays right down the middle of each side. Then I will easily have there. Using the arrow tool, I can get all of these intersections. Just clicking where the two sides meet. And now I have 12 points equally spaced on a circle. And by choosing all 12, or you could use the segment tool and do this one at a time, but the shortest way, or the fastest way, all 12 points are chosen. I can construct segments. Control L. That is Control L. And those are the 12 sides of my dodecagon perhaps make the line width thick, change the color a bit, it just looks. So now I have a dodecagon. You can hide some extra things but it's basically correct. Move it around and be amazed. Dodecagon. Using the midpoint and ray tool to double the number of sides of whatever polygon you've created. So you could easily double the quadrilateral or the pentagon, and now I've shown you the hexagon. The uh, nonagon, I'll leave to you. Best of luck. Once you've done all this, save your work, of course, and then go to your wiki page and upload your work. That is, go to your student folder, upload the file, create a link to that file as we've done in the previous lesson, I'm not going to create a link to my file right now because I don't want to give away the answers. But if you could make this a link to that very file so that I can check your work. When this lesson's over, I will go back and show you some answers to all the others. And oh, by the way, as I said for extra credit, how do you do a seven sided or heptagon? Here's a hint the artist uh, for this work had a very clever way of doing this. Maybe you recognize this work. Look it up. He was a smart man and he knew how to come very close to constructing a heptagon. Thank you very much.